Now, the mouse isn't always the best device for doing smooth automation in real time. It can be a bit fiddly and it can only do one thing at a time. You can get much smoother results by using an external control surface. I've actually got a small USB keyboard here which has some assignable pots on it which are perfect for uh, natural automation. But we've got to get them talking to the parameters that we want to use on Logic. In this case I'm going to use them to control an insert here. There's a filter, a low pass filter on these cords. So I'll just double click on that. I want to actually assign these two here to these two here, cut off and resonance. So how do I do that? It's quite easy. We'll go to Logic, Preferences, Automation. And it's all to do with this bit down the bottom here, the Automation Quick Access. Basically, all I do is I click Learn Message, and then I move the parameter that I want to assign, in this case cut off. Then I move the hardware pot that I want to assign to that cutoff. And there we are, it's done it. You can see that moving there on screen. Very important then to click done, otherwise you might end up assigning other things that you don't want. However, I now want to do a second one, this resonance, so it's exactly the same. Learn message, move the resonance, move the pot on the control surface, done. Now I can record that into my track. I have to make sure that I'm in one of the right modes. Uh, as we know, latch is the most usable. And then I simply hit play. Don't have to hit record again, just play. OK, now first thing to do is switch that to read. And if we click A to show the automation, we can get that to display down here. Look, it shows us that we've got some cutoff. If we make another lane there, we can see the resonance. Two independent lanes of automation recorded at the same time using a control surface. Let's just play that back to check that it's worked. Yeah, we can see the cutoff and resonance moving there. 